And good morning. Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. So excited for our next interview. We have Conrad Anker in studio with us, who is a legend. And if you don't know that name, we're going to introduce you to him right now and how you can actually get to know him better um, tonight and in the next coming weeks at the Clark Planetarium. So we're going to let you know about that. Conrad, how are you doing? Things are well. Good morning, Jen. Good. Thanks for being here. Bright and early. First thing in the morning, just what you want to do, right? Wake <laughs> well, up. That's better than coffee. Good. Good. That's a good response. So, Conrad, let's start um, with your film. It's the um, the wildest dream conquest of Everest and you are just an incredible athlete and what you've done I mean throughout the year and you actually have ties uh, to Utah as well so it's fun to have you back uh, back here in Utah yeah yeah certainly in uh, the winter of 1980 81 I lived out of my car and slept in a tent at Park West which is now you the canyons did? yeah and it was there's a two-lane road here yeah. to, from Kimball Junction there were no houses and this used to be the Alpha Beta. Yeah. Oh, so you know exactly <laughs> how Park City has grown. Yeah. Park so West. If you guys are going, where's Park West? That would be what the Canyons is now. So you know you're an old timer when I can say I've lived at Park West and you can say you have too. I worked there and I had my, I still have my ski pass from there. <laughs> <laughs> That's classic. That's awesome. Well, we're glad uh, to have you back here in Utah. But let's talk about your film coming up and really just your incredible um, life history. The film is The Wildest Dream, and it's a biopic about the life of George Mallory. And he was one of the pioneering English climbers who set out to climb Everest in 1921, 22, and then again in 24. June 8, 1924, he disappeared into the clouds with his climbing partner, Sandy Irvin. Mm -hmm. And the question was, could they have made it to the summit 29 years before Sir, right. Sir Edmund Hillary in Tenzing Norgay did in 1953? Fast forward, 1999. I was on an expedition looking for these two lost climbers, found the body of George Mallory on the 1st of May. It's big news. And then we made a small documentary about it at the time, but then there was always this idea to do a great feature-length film for theater release. And I was contacted by Anthony Geffen from uh, the UK and Atlantic mm -hmm. Productions. And we worked on this story to tie in the life of George Mallory and climbing Everest in a current sense because we do climb Everest. It's year 2007, so it's modern climbing. Shots from the summit, and it ties it all together. Well, and the trailer looks absolutely incredible. My director and I were talking about that this morning. We just said, you see the trailer, and it just makes you want to see more. I mean, to hear that you've scaled the you know, and you've climbed Mount Everest, and but it's not just that. There's another story involved with it, and it's all about George Mallory as well, which I yeah. think really enticed me um, because there's more of that storyline involved with the climbing. Yeah, the story overall is George Mallory because he is the man. Mm -hmm. I mean, you think about what it was like 1924. How leather would they have boots. Done it? I mean, they just leather boots, cotton pants, and and woolen sweaters, and here they Serious. are climbing to an altitude that no one even knew if humans could survive. Oh now, having done it yourself, I mean, does that just sound absolutely crazy to think about trying to do it back in the day? For the wildest dream, we used period clothing. We used them all the way up Did to about really? 25,000 feet, and it was like you came away from the, with a greater appreciation oh because gosh. they were just just super burly to be up there without that level of uh, equipment. And this is you actually, we're showing the trailer um, right now on screen. So this is what's playing at Clark Planetarium. It looks so fantastic. I cannot believe you actually used the period clothing. It was good. It was nice and it was it's a way good. to pay tribute. It's good. He's like, yeah, it was great. I, I almost wrote. It's stylish. So. Oh, was it stylish? Yeah, it's the color tones of this room. So. <laughs> <laughs> Which means it was awesome. Yeah. It was the color tones of this. But um, the film, how long has it been out for? The film premieres August 6th, so it's still not out yet. Oh, my gosh. It's opening at um, the uh, Clark Planetarium. They've had it for a sneak preview there. And so we're lucky. They run it three times a week. We've got a great giveaway to get the film going. The Clark Planetarium is one of the best giant yeah. screen cinemas in the United States. It's seven years old. They've got state-of-the-art sound and projection. And if you want to sense Everest from a visual and a sound uh, perspective, check in and you'll You'll be mesmerized. Oh, be, I'm. Whoa. Oh, I'm sure. That, and that's, I mean, exactly what you're saying. You go to Clark Planetarium, and you're just going to be mesmerized with the huge, huge screen that they have going on. Yeah, and plus, when you walk into the theater, you get to go through this great source of knowledge. Oh yeah. There's information mm -hmm. that's great. I like science. Museums are good. Well, we were talking about, you know, the films that have been released in Hollywood this year. 
they're just not doing it for me and I think a lot of people. <laughs> they're just kind of crappy. So this is going to be a film that is not only educational but phenomenal. So you're going to want to see it at Clark Planetarium. We're actually going to give you a chance to win tickets to go and see it. So is it a family four-pack, Danny? Two. Okay, so it's a pair of tickets that you'll be able to check out at the Clark Planetarium. Connor, we want to thank you so much for Jim, coming thank in. Thank you. Good to have you back in Utah again. Yeah. It's a good place to come back to. Always. So we are going to uh, take a quick break. When we come back, we're talking all about mountain biking, golfing. You can do all of it here in Park City. So we're going to give you a tip coming up. And then, again, right after that, your chance to win tickets to the film playing at Clark Planetarium. We'll be back after the short break.